Coach Mana began his college football career here at ETSU and then moved on to Carson Newman where he played for a national championship team. I uh, played here, I guess, um, came in 87 and um, 88. I played as a letter here as a freshman in 88 and decided to uh, move closer to home, uh, go to Carson Newman uh, and had a great program down there. Uh, just won a national championship and I got a chance to see that ball game uh, while I was still in school here and that helped me make my decision to go down there uh, to see what kind of program they had at the time. Uh, and I had an opportunity the next year, uh, although I um, was injured uh, a couple times and ended up getting a medical redshirt that next year we, we won a national championship and that was a great uh, opportunity and great experience for me. Beyond college, Coach Minot had a chance to play in the newly formed World League in Birmingham, but soon moved to Orlando to take part in arena football. I actually went, uh, Chan Gailey, who's now with the Cowboys, head coach, uh, Cowboys was the coach at uh, Birmingham Fire, which is uh, now, was then the American uh, World League that they had, the NFL had started, and uh, he invited me down for a couple tryouts and uh, ended up signing me uh, basically to be in their draft, and in that league they signed you to be in the draft, and before the draft that year they uh, folded in America, so uh, basically I, you know, felt like that was it for me, and that was a great opportunity that I had there. And, and then a couple of weeks later, uh, an arena team contacted me. I guess they got my name to uh, the uh, World mind, League did a lot of and gave me an opportunity down there, and that was uh, a real fun experience for me. Coaching was always on traveling to seek opportunities in the field. The main reason that I played and, and moved around as much as I could, and, and I played some other leagues here and there because I wanted to get the opportunity to meet and uh, bounce off as many people as I could because I knew that's what I wanted to do, and it wasn't so much for, you know, I, I love playing, uh, you know, give anything and still be able to play, but that was one of the main goals and focuses, I think, on what I was uh, uh, moving around so much is just to get the opportunity to have uh, opportunities in the future. Coach Paul Hamilton gave Jerry Minot a chance to coach the Bucks wide receivers this year, and he is grateful for the opportunity. Uh, he gave me an opportunity to be a full-time coach. I'm coaching receivers now, and I've uh, been blessed with great talent. And, uh, you know, of course, you know, that makes you a good coach when you got good players. Uh, but um, it's uh, been a great experience for me, and it's an opportunity I've looked, uh, waited for for, you know, six, eight years, uh, actually, uh, to get. And uh, now I have it, and I, I'm trying to do, uh, do the best I can with that opportunity. Reporting for the Paul Hamilton Show, I'm Scott Blair. We can have a trademark of winning, and I believe that sincerely. Well, I think uh, the team showed that today, as you uh, mentioned. Obviously. Obviously. That ball is complete to Minak from Smith. Touch on that pass, and he found the seam there and uh, just lifted it right in there, dropped it right in there. and. Uh, at the 45-yard line. It'll be third down and six, making the catch, Jerry Minot. Jerry Minot down seven. Five. Game and right in there. We're talking about out of bounds, but that was a good catch. Jerry Minot.